Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new we do movie and series reviews, monthly wrap up tier list and then I am starting to incorporate just a tiny little bit of board game content. Just just a little bit. Just like a little a little dash. May has come to an end and let me tell you what had happened with May okay. May's my birthday okay. I was gonna be doing some stuff for my birthday month. Uh, just kind of like more get to know me videos. Just kind of like a get to know me video <laughs> but obviously none of that happened you could it's almost like I took May off as well because remember April I kind of took that month off and I was supposed to be back with it in May I uploaded a video a couple weeks ago um the challenge video for the board games 50 games in a week I'll go ahead and click it up here so that video just cost a whole bunch of problems <laughs> I guess where I was rendering so much stuff it took me so so long to edit it and I don't know you guys because when I was working on that video I was also working on the Doctor Strange review and Doctor Strange took me like a week to finally get it out to you guys so yeah that's what happened and then I get frustrated so easily and I was just like I'm done I'm done I was about to quit YouTube it was a whole if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen the whole ordeal if you haven't followed me check me out that's kind of what happened with the month of May a lot of frustration a lot of am I gonna give up YouTube or not so we're gonna go ahead and get on with what I saw in the month of May of course that's always anything that I did watch within the month will be down in the description if you want to get more of my take on it honestly it's only two reviews first up is going to be a Netflix documentary called Our Father uh, this is basically um, about this doctor one of the best infertility doctors in whatever state this crazy ass man was at that would use his own sperm on a bunch of women. He has possibly over 100 kids. Ancestry.com is kind of how the whole thing kind of started going on. It's pretty interesting. The documentary itself, I don't think it's the best. Uh, so I think it was just like an enjoyable documentary. The story is interesting, but the documentary as a whole, not the best. Basically, he was raping the, the, these women, right? He was violating them. And the way that the law is set up, you guys, it's, it's so fucked. It really is. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and continue on with Netflix. And it's going to be Senior Year. Uh, this does star Rebel Wilson. I don't know if you guys remember a little movie called Kicking It Old School with Jamie Kennedy. Pretty much the same thing, except this is like the girl version. Of course, in Kicking It Old School, he was a break dancer. And then over here, she's a cheerleader. I'm going to say it tried. It had its moments. And then they lost those moments. <laughs> like, big time lost it. As in, there's a random, for some reason, dance break. Like, they're at the end. And I think there was somewhere else, too, that they just bust out into dance. No, not that was a pep rally. So we'll, we'll let it slide there. But the graduation, when they're just like, oh, this is... Oh, that was so cringy. I you know it's bad. <laughs> Let me. Wh wh why am I trying to defend this movie? It's it's not a good movie. It's not. But it has its moments. But it, the the moments do not outweigh how bad it is. I would recommend kicking in old school. I mean, I don't know how that movie has aged, but I remember really enjoyed that one way more than I enjoyed this one. Next would be Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness. This could also be a Scarlet Witch movie. You know, I think it falls. It should probably be like Doctor Strange versus Scarlet Witch. I feel like that might be better off of what's happening here. Um, I really, really enjoyed this movie a lot. I know some people are kind of like, they loved it. Some people are like, no, they don't like it. They have issues. To really kind of get more of where the Scarlet Witch, where Wanda is in this movie, it is beneficial to watch WandaVision, the series, which I love. That's actually my favorite Um Disney show that's been coming out so far my absolute favorite and just to kind of understand where she's at and like the kids and everything like that that's where to go it's kind of the thing that Disney is doing that is basically forcing you to watch everything because at the end of the day it's kind of you know they're gonna mix in one way or the other it's actually a favorite of the year for me there's a really really cool like fight scene that has like musical notes going to it that's that was really interesting. I really, really enjoyed it. But we're going to uh, keep moving forward. Uh, moving on to Amazon Prime Emergency. So this movie is about these college students who walk into their house and find this uh, white girl passed out 
in their floor in the living room floor we're getting home to get ready to go out to have this big legacy party and they're like well what do we do are we gonna call the cops are we not are you gonna believe us or not like who's gonna believe two black kids there's also a mexican roommate and the thing is that he was actually in his room playing video games getting high so it kind of goes with the whole well, are they really going to believe that you didn't know anything about it, seeing that you were here in the house when she just wandered up in this house? Come on, like, you know, they're not going to believe us color folks. This does start off kind of comical, comical drama in a way, but then it goes into, like, really, like, deep stuff. It actually made me cry. I would say it's actually pretty a pretty great movie. We're going to go ahead and move on to Disney Plus to Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Now, I initially had absolutely <laughs> no intention of watching this movie. Honestly, I've never been a fan of Chip and Dale. I do remember the cartoon and I remember watching a few episodes here and there. But they were never really my thing. I was more of an Alvin and Chipmunk kind of gal, which is also a um, a joke about it in this movie. I'm hearing so much great stuff about it. And I'm like, okay, let's check it out. It's just on Disney Plus. We'll see it. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think it was all that great. I just don't have my four kids section here because I don't really think. Well, I mean, yes, it is for kids, but I feel like adults that grew up with this. A cartoon will find the nostalgia with it because there's a lot of like old school cartoons references uh cameos that pop up there's one in particular for me there at the beginning if i recall that's where, where he came out a certain rabbit which is like my all-time favorite movie i was like oh, I, don't know. I guess i enjoyed myself enough with it uh but it's it's something that i just never assumed there was going to be a movie we're gonna move on to hulu the valet which starts tomorrow weaving and eugenio derbez i absolutely love the both of them and also it does start the late carmen salinas this was actually the last movie that she made before her passing now this movie is about samara weaving who is this very well-known actress who ends up getting mixed up with this married man um who's played by max greenfield uh, you may know him from the new girl now one of the uh, rendezvous between Samara and Max kind of get caught by one of the paparazzis the wife is all like oh you're cheating on me blah 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 and in the photo you see Ujernio in the back so he's basically this pawn of no 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 like that's who she's dating it's actually really really good uh, I didn't really know anything about it kind of just stumbled on it and very emotional as well it made me cry <laughs> i was not expecting to cry at all uh this movie was actually was actually pretty great uh, i think it has like a really nice mixture of comedy and emotional aspect to it i love the performances except for max max greenville for me really kind of ruined it and then last on my list is top gun maverick now this one is just in theaters of course it is the sequel to the very beloved movie Top Gun, a classic that came out like 30 years ago. I honestly just saw that movie for the first time um, like a week ago. I will say that I wasn't a huge fan of the original one. I'm just like, mm, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is, okay? I, I think I gave it like three and a half stars on Letterboxd. To kind of get a little bit more out of Top Gun Maverick, you do need to watch the original. You probably don't need to, but again, if you really want to get those emotional like factors from it, I love everybody who was in this movie as well, like the whole new crew. This one is also another one that's favorite of the year. These are the movies that I saw in the month of May. Let me know down below. What did you see? Did we watch any of the same things? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, if you disagree, that's totally fine. You know, that's like the magic of movies, right? We all have different um, opinions, but let's just let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the sessions. Bye!